the way it's been for the last three weeks since I tore my quad after I finished training. I come right into the office here at Kinetics, at Kinetic Life in the gym, and Dimitri over here, or Dennis, works on my quad. But you can't do anything extensive because it's a bad tear and you can't be doing any deep tissue work. So, Dennis, why don't you, or uh, Dimitri, why don't you explain exactly what you're doing there? So, what we're doing is we're ultrasounding the area. We're going to ultrasound all down the sartorius. Ultrasound helps push out inflammation, helps stem the healing, helps clear away any scar tissue. We've been doing that for the past few days, showing some good results. And then after that, we're going to put some IFC and some ice on it to push the inflammation out even more and help with the pain. That's it. Stay with it. So, Stay with it. basically, this is what I'm doing as patchwork to get me through to the show because. I couldn't stop and get PRP because that would have made me completely stop training and I wanted to get at least one or two sessions in before the show. So this is kind of a band-aid for now. After the show I'll probably get some PRP done and try and get this tear, get an ultrasound and see exactly how bad the tear is and, and hopefully some PRP to help heal, heal the tear. But. This is the uh, regular occurrence on a day-to-day -day basis for me. When the economy was underperforming and the stock market was very low, they both succeeded in, in a, having a huge bull market for a while. But uh, we're not in the same situation. The market he's inheriting is already high. So we're uh, about four hours into our drive. What seemed like a great adventure is now turning into fucking hell. <laughs> no, it's all good. Uh, we got like two and a half hours left on the drive. I've had to stop like four times to take a leak, which sucks because that never happens when I'm not dieting. Um, eating while driving is cool. Um, everything's on track. Just, uh, gonna get there. The part I dread the most about this, these trips is by the time I get to Columbus, I'm wiped out and I gotta unload the truck of all the stuff I'm gonna need for the weekend. So, who knows, I might give the bellhop a fucking huge tip and just sit back and watch him do everything because I'm just beat. But anyway, everything's going good. Crossed the border smoothly, I thought. Possibly in Trump's America. My brown skin and long beard might be a problem, but I married a white girl, so it's all good. So we just got here finally. It's uh, nine something. This is our room. It's pretty nice. You get this nice basket when you get here. This is what it looks like now, but it will be set up. Got the bedroom, my wife who won't look at the camera. Big ass king size bed that we're not going to have sex in because I'm too depleted. And a living room area that nobody will use. Actually, Summer will probably be sitting at that desk working for the next three days. And then I'll show you guys the transformation. So you guys are always asking me uh, how I travel and stuff and how we set stuff up when we when I go away. It's pretty simple. Uh, the room doesn't really have to be tra transformed. It's just this one little area. So what I got here is I got a stove top, you know, that you buy for like camping or some shit. I clear the coffee maker off of here. This is my kitchen now. So I got, it's a little incomplete. We'll go to the grocery store tomorrow. I'll get some sponges and some dishwash soap and shit so I can reuse all my Tupperware and plates and stuff. Got my stove top. I brought my own 
uh, frying pan as well, spatulas. I got my sweeteners, my food scale, my cream of rice, um, some dieter's tea if I need it, cinnamon. I got my pre workout or sorry, intro workout uh, for tomorrow when I work out and possibly for Friday. So I brought two. And uh, down here, I have a fridge. I've got a couple meals in there right now already. So I'm never short. And that's that. I got microwave so I can cook whatever I need pretty much. Because if I hit the grocery store, I can get, um, you know, those microwavable rice packs and shit. So you pretty much make anything. So tomorrow we'll hit the grocery store and uh, make sure I'm all stocked up for everything. And that's day one. Now we just rest. And, uh...